Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, January the 19th, 2021, and today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 86, 1 Samuel 15, 10 through 31, and then Acts 5, 1 through 11, and I'm going to be looking at 1 Samuel 15, 10 through 31, um, and talk about, I guess, God's deepest regrets um, and, and his rejection of Saul. So, it's kind of an interesting idea for us to think that God can have regrets about things he's done. Um, and yet the scripture kind of shows us that pretty frequently. Um, he has regrets about the flood. So if you read the flood story, you know, the story of Noah, um, he has regrets about that. Uh, if you, um, oh, later on, right after that, he sort of has regrets about people having such really, really long lives. And he kind of curtails that a little bit. And then, um, also, here we have where he regrets making Saul king. And we see this in 1511, uh, where he says, I regret that I made Saul king, for he has turned back from following me and has not carried out my commands. Uh, and it says, Samuel was angry and he cried out to the Lord all night. Um, so God has regrets, you know, <laughs> it's like with deepest regrets, I made Saul king. Um, and that's an interesting thing. And it's can be thing you know regrets about um, just what he's done, but it's also regrets about what he's done because of things we've done, and that's the story here. Um, the story goes on, and Samuel comes to Saul and confronts him um, about what he's done, and but it's not just this one thing that he's done; it's a series of things. Saul was a problem. Uh, Saul seemed to not follow God's word so much as he followed his own will. Hmm. Um, because he could convince himself really easily that what he thought was right was indeed exactly right, and the only thing that was right, and the only thing that was true. Um, and I'm sure he surrounded himself with like-minded people who told him what he wanted to hear or who believed the same thing, even though it was contrary to what God had commanded through his prophet Samuel and through his, I don't know, law. Um, and so, you know, as the anointed leader king of Israel, Saul was supposed to listen to the word of God as delivered through God's word and as delivered through the prophet, uh, the prophet priest, Samuel. It's not like, you know, Samuel was just nobody. The whole book's named after him. And he did neither. He listened to his own desires uh, and the desires of the people. Uh, and he even says that. He says, I feared the people. This is verse, uh, ooh, verse 24. He says, I have sinned, I have feared the people and obeyed their voice. Um, now, I think that's true. Uh, I think he, he, if he did have any idea that what he was doing went against God's word, um, he, he was maybe afraid to change his mind about that in a degree because, you know, the people also wanted that. Um, but at the same time, I think he may also be using that as an excuse here. Um, and, and that's, that's, kind of where he goes from here. I, I think his attitude after this, he, he has this dramatic confession. He goes, yeah, I knew this was wrong, but the people, the people wanted this, you know, and I'm their leader. And well, right, you're their leader. You're supposed to lead them even when you <laughs> what they want is wrong, even though they all want it. You're their leader. And you were told by God, you were told by the prophet to do this, and you didn't do that. So he uh, doesn't really take responsibility for it himself other than to say he's a gutless wonder and then he basically says to samuel so we're good now right we, we good we good come on back to the house with me and let's have a big celebration and um we can have we can offer worship to god in public and a big public sacrifice and everybody will see that god's still good with me and i'm still king and everything right and Samuel says, I will not go back with you, and I will not offer sacrifice with you because God has rejected you. You, my friend Saul, are a reject. Um, and that's that's where Saul ends up. <laughs> and the rest of the story is about God moving and acting to replace this rejected king because he wouldn't listen to God. He wouldn't listen to God's word, and he only listened to what he wanted and what the feckless, unfaithful people wanted. So that's the DBR for today. Go out, have a good day. We'll be back tomorrow with more, and you have a good day. Boop.